he's never been afraid to voice his opinion about the royal family. But today host Karl Stefanovic held his tongue. On Wednesday as his go, anchor Alison Langdon discussed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's response to the situation in Afghanistan. As Alison spoke to today's Los Angeles correspondent Sam Rubin about the Sussex's statement on the international crisis, Carl looked visibly frustrated. Alison said at the start of the discussion, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have spoken out about the devastating Afghanistan crisis, saying they are speechless and heartbroken about the situation. As she spoke, Carl became increasingly agitated, pulling bizarre facial expressions and rocking back and forth on the couch. After discussing the Duke and Duchess statement, Alison questioned why Meghan was always criticized for speaking out. There are so many people around the world who are feeling what is happening in Afghanistan, and for Meghan to add her voice to it, is it such a big deal? She asked. I don't like a lot of the stuff she does, but any time she does anything she just gets slapped down for it. Rubin explained, I think the knives are out, ally, all the time and I think sometimes that happens. Sometimes it's not necessarily not deserved. Carl seemed to tentatively agree, replying, I reckon you're right. I think little of some of the stuff she does, but that one is like, whatever. Harry and Meghan have said the Taliban's advance in Afghanistan has left them speechless and heartbroken in a wide-ranging statement that also addresses the COVID-19 crisis and the humanitarian disaster in Haiti. The lengthy statement, released via the couple's Archul Foundation website, calls on followers to support organizations including the World Central Kitchen, but failed to say how much they would be personally donating or details of how they will help. It was later criticized by a royal expert as a word salad.